Hey, Professor Debara. Hope all is well. Uh, today, my presentation is on Ernst Röhm. Okay, so Ernst Röhm was a soldier during World War One, and it was there that he attained the rank of captain. After this war, he helped found the Nazi Party. Uh, he helped Hitler win the support of the army in Bavaria, and he made available to him a very uh, useful resource, which was his private strong armed force. And this is what became known as the SA, or the Stormtroopers, or also known as the Brown Shirts. And a few years after the founding of the SA, uh, he was briefly imprisoned for his part in the Beer Hall Push on 1923, which was a failed government coup. And Rome's essential goal was to, for the SA to absorb or to supplement the Reichswehr, which is the regular army, to, and to secure equality within the Nazi party, which was contrary to Hitler's wishes and ultimately ended up being his undoing. Okay, so what exactly is the Nazi party? So in the year 1919, Hitler is still a part of the German military and he was sent to spy on a German workers' party meeting. And what he found was that the German Workers' Party was hugely nationalist, anti-Semitic, anti-communist, anti-capitalist, and uh, it was a strong government based on the purity of race. So Hitler actually ends up joining uh, this meeting despite being sent there to spy on the meeting. And he joins his 55th member of the German Workers' Party. And eventually in 1920, the name is changed to the National Socialist German Workers' Party, uh, as mentioned prior. And in a, a year after, Hitler actually becomes chairman of the Nazi party. And it was not long afterward that um, Ernst Röhm met Adolf Hitler, and they became very close political allies and friends. And it's even said that they might have been even closer than just friends, because it's said that Röhm's sexual orientation was no secret after the, the mid-1920s. And Hitler either ignored it or said it was immaterial, depending on who he was talking to, including other Nazis. And this led to many theories about Hitler possibly being homosexual as well. So much of Hitler and the Nazis' rise to power can actually be owed to Ernst Röhm. And the reason for that being is that in the early 1920s, Rome was an important intermediary between both Germany's paramilitary organizations and the Reichswehr, which is the regular army. And additionally, it was actually Rome who persuaded his former army commander, Colonel von Epp, to join the Nazis. And this goes to show, you know, his his networking uh, as as an ex-military and what this did to bolster the Nazi party. And so, most importantly, uh, the recruitment of Epp helped raise sixty thousand helped raise uh, sixty thousand marks that needed to purchase the Nazi periodical the Volkischer Biobacto. And in 1921, uh, Hitler actually took control of the um, National Socialist um, Workers' Party, and uh, he acquired all the shares in the company, making the sole owner of the periodical. And this was so important because not only was did this periodical report general news, but also party activities. And he presented, Hitler manifested this uh, sort of presentation of the newspaper as constant success. So the circulation of the paper, uh, to give you an idea, was initially 8,000, but it reached more than 120,000 by 1931 and 1 1.7 million by the year 1944. So how exactly was the essay formed? And this is owed to uh, Hitler's early meetings of the Nazi party. And so the problem with these meetings is that, of course, many hecklers and protesters attended. And Hitler, he just knew all the right people. Um, he had also been in the army, much like Ernst Röhm, and was friends with men, many military members who would forcibly eject or beat anyone who disagreed with Hitler or disrespected him during these meetings. And it was this that formed the foundation of the essay. Uh, the future essay, developed by organizing and formalizing these groups of ex-soldiers and uh, ragtag beer hall brawlers who were to protect gatherings of the Nazi party from destruction, uh, disruptions. So ultimately, Rome and Hitler worked together to unify the essay and attempt a government overthrow, which was known as the Beer Hall Push. So how exactly was the state of Germany during the Hitler and Nazi rise to power? Uh, this can be succinctly summarized by two words. It was really bad. 
essentially, as the Nazis and the Hitler, and Hitler gains power, uh, what was known as the Weimar Republic, which came into power in 1919, is deteriorating economically and at an exponential rate. And one of these re the reasons for this is that you know in World War One they suffered a horrible loss, and so they had to pay reparations to all the Allied uh, powers. And ultimately, it came to the point where the Weimar public simply said, oh, well, let's just print a bunch of money, convert it to currency, and then pay the reparations with this other currency. Of course, this was a complete mess and created hyperinflation and massive discontent among many people, most notably Hitler and the Nazis. So capitalizing on the chaotic state that the Weimar Republic was in, Hitler and Rome planned to take advantage of this and actually overthrow the government in an event that was known as the Beer Hall Push. So the SA was now completely unified under Hitler's leadership, and Rome and Hitler saw great opportunity. So the two plotted this push, starting in Munich, with the SA to be the enforcers of the uprising. So unfortunately for Hitler and Rome, the Beer Hall Push government coup completely failed. Uh, so approximately 2,000 Nazis were marching into uh, the city center, and that was when they were confronted by a massive police cordon, and this resulted in the deaths of 16 Nazi party members and four police officers. However, following this event, uh, Rome, Hitler, Ludendorff, uh, Colonel Hermann, Kriebel, and six others were tried for high treason. Uh, Hitler actually fled this battle completely, and it was for this reason that he severed his um, relationship with Ludendorff, because Ludendorff saw him as a coward for fleeing. And uh, ultimately, though, Rome was found guilty, and he was sentenced to 15 months in prison, but the sentence was actually suspended, and he ended up being placed on probation. But the most important aftermath uh, or outcome of this event was that the SA became outlawed by the government. So Rome actually got out of prison before Hitler, and as a result, uh, he tried to create the Front Bund, which was a legal alternative to the then outlawed, uh, outlawed SA. And Hitler didn't fully support the ambitious plans that Rome had for the, the SA, which proved to be very problematic. The Nazi party, uh, including the SA, was outlawed by the Weimar Republic government following the government push, and the Nazi party was then briefly renamed to maintain legality uh, to the Nationalist Socialist Freedom Party. And the SA was also similarly renamed. And uh, much like the party it served, the Frontbahn included the same members and performed the same functions as uh, the SA. But, um, and it contained many of the original members of the SA. Um, that being said, Rome was completely prepared to integrate these th the 30,000 strong from bond into the SA, but Hitler did not approve. And as a result, uh, Rome cried and uh, left to Bolivia on May 1st, 1925. So after Rome's resignation from all political groups and military brigades, um, he escaped to Bolivia, and it was there that he accepted a post uh, as an advisor to the Bolivian army, where he was given the rank of lieutenant colonel. However, it was shortly after that in the autumn of 1930, uh, Rome received a phone call from uh, Hitler requesting his return to Nazi Germany. Uh, so Rome actually took him up on this offer, and he quickly began his new assignment as the SA's chief of staff on, on January 5th, 1931. So with the meteoric rise of the SS and um, Hitler's national take takeover of the SA, Hitler began to realize that there was no real need for the street fighting capabilities of the SA. Uh, this, with the SS would take care of those tasks. And along with other members of the more radical faction within the Nazi party, uh, Rome began to advocate a second revolution that was overtly anti-capitalist. And these plans were very threatening to Hitler's corporate financial backers in particular, um, and including many German industrial leaders that he would rely upon for arms production. So in order to keep from alienating them, Hitler swiftly, swiftly reassured his powerful allies that there would be no such revolution by these party radicals. So after Hitler's reassurance of no SA revolution, 
Uh, Rome demanded in the 1934 cabinet meeting that a merger of the SA with the regular army be made under his leadership as the Minister of Defense. Um, this was actually rejected, <laughs> and Hitler then planned to reduce the SA by two-thirds, and that same month, Hitler announced that the SA would be left with only a few minor military functions. Uh, Rome responded with many com complaints, uh, justif justifiably, and he began expanding the armed elements of the SA. And then, of course, speculation that the SA was planning a coup against Hitler became very widespread in Berlin, serving a serious threat to Hitler's power. So, Goering, Goebbels, and Himmler, they all had reasons to position themselves against Rom. And so, they did exactly that and advised Hitler to eliminate him to curb the power of the SA. Um, Hitler hesitantly did this, but eventually um, he did take Rome personally from a hotel um, near Munich on the pretext that he and the SA were praying a push. However, what ended up happening is that Hitler addressed a crowd at the headquarters in Munich, and consumed with rage, Hitler denounced the worst treachery in world history. He told the crowd of the SA members and party members that undisciplined and disobedient characters and asocial or diseased elements would be annihilated. It was the following day that Rome was shot without a trial. Before the events of the Knights of the Long Knives concluded, not only was Rome dead, but more than 200 additional people had been killed. <laughs>